Welcome back to my channel. It's gonna kind of do, I uh, already did the other side, but we're gonna replace these front rotors with these TRQ slot and drilled rotors. And we're gonna talk about slot and drilled rotors here in a minute, because I did some on my Honda, and there's one person that had a concern about the orientation of which I had the slots and the, and the drilled little holes here going. We're gonna test bases on that and if that's important or not. So let's get this job going. So let's see here. I believe this is a 14. And it is. So we're gonna take that off. I get a little camera shy sometimes. I lose confidence. Yeah. Uh, what year is your car? 2018. 2018. This is not my car. This is a buddy of mine's car. It's a 2018 Kia Forte. And I'm just going to bust this loose here. And don't worry, I have all the safety equipment underneath this car, so it won't fall on my head too much if it were to fall. And I don't have any hand tools, so I'm going caveman with it. Going back in the day. Just ratchets. If I go back any further, I'll be using stones. <laughs> Chisels. I'll give this a wiggle just to help separate. Some people use a screwdriver, stick it in there and, and pry. I don't think with this car it's gonna be necessary. Unless, of course, the piston is stuck. Ugh. Beautiful. Now there's going to be some springs. I'm going to show you the top out as soon as I get this off. Side came off a little easier, John. Right on. Okay, now real mechanics have these fancy little hooks to hang them from. I'm not there in life yet. I don't do this every day, so I just stick with um, short man version stuff like wire. Let's go around this. Strut tower here. All this does is keeps it from hanging on top on this hose here, keeps the pressure off. I mean, I'm sure it would be fine, but if it's brittle and old, it can become problematic. There we go. All right, we'll push this in a bit. Get comfortable. So these springs here, they push outward on the pads, just kind of helps keep them away from the rotor. Keeps them from dragging. Now these, these front brakes were done about a year ago, but they've Created a uh, shake in the a shimmy in the steering wheel. Uh, so, warped rotors, everything else looks and seems fine. So, this is what we're starting with. Usually, that's usually that's the problem when you have a shimmy when you hit the brakes. Only when you hit the brakes, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, I don't know if I said this already. So, I was a 14 for the caliper. And then we're gonna to go to a 17 back here. Wow, shysta, look at that. The tools whooping my butt. I think I just went the wrong way, John. Nope, I'm being an idiot. Let's 
So, so I still get through life using lefty loosey righty tiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's backwards, you know, you're not facing it. That's so right. Sometimes yeah. it gets confusing. Yeah. And I would use a ratcheting tool, but look, this is right here. I found it right now. Take 10 minutes just to find all the other sockets. So. You want to get a shot in the back? You got an okay view, John? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. You want to get a shot back here when I get my fat head in the way, too. I got you all the way down here. So. Yeah. All right. Come on, baby. I go there. I go there. Old pads. Looks like they're they're wearing pretty evenly. Maybe a little bit less on the backside. Not really enough to show concern. Yeah, so fine. Now we got these two screws right here. Did I not bring my Phillips screwdriver over here? Way to be prepared. <laughs> Hold, please. Sometimes you have to drill these out. You live somewhere where it get a lot of snow and they use like salt on the roads these things will be seized in there but these just help you hold these in place while you put everything together so if you can't save these not a big deal they're not like absolutely required Sometimes I've seen it where if these are warped enough, you actually see the, the heat spots where, yeah. where, it, where it hits. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. TRQs. I put these on my Honda. If anyone's been on my channel long enough, they know that I put TRQs on my Honda. They were great. No problems with them, so I recommended them. Now on these ones here, unlike my Honda, it's the label, right side, passenger side. We're gonna talk about if that truly matters or not when it comes to the slaughter drill. And I'm gonna go off of the research that I've done. Not my opinion, just purely off of the research that I've done. Now, it doesn't matter if you were to stick this one on the other side. And, it, and, and these will be in the, you know, backwards. That, so instead of going this way, they would go this way, right? Did that change it? Should, in theory, right? So on my Honda, I didn't pay attention. I just slapped them on, went on with my day. And then someone says I put these on backwards. Now, originally I was kind of going back and forth with this individual because when they said backwards, put the rotors on backwards, can we do it? There it is. Thought they meant like that. Which if you try to put your brakes on backwards, nothing's gonna line up properly. No. You know, it, it can't. So I got to thinking about it. It's like, well what the heck are they talking about? They're talking about the way that these slots were going. Yeah. And so when I thought about that, I'm like, well crap, does it matter? Does it really matter if those are not going a certain way? And off of big websites, Summit is one of them, they talk about it and they tell you that it doesn't matter which way these are going. Still cools down your, your, your rotors 
the same. What does matter is the fins inside. Now these here, they don't have a curvature to them, so they're not catching air to cool off the material in between. Oh, okay. Okay, so these are just straight down. So in this case, it wouldn't matter if I put this on the other side, which is why my Honda still works perfectly fine. So for those people that want to say, oh, it's on backwards, dude, chill out. It's okay. You're not going to lose your brakes. You know, nothing's being harmed. Um, and again, I, I encourage you to do your own research. Don't take my word for it. I've done my research. Maybe you find something differently, but I looked at four different resources that say the same thing. So before you go get all crazy about it, do a little research yourself because then you kind of sound a little silly, right? You know, if you're trying to call someone out for something and, <laughs> and uh, well, it's not really true. Um, so, so I want to let you know from my research, doesn't matter which way these are going. All right. But it does matter on these fins. And then also too, they will stamp an R or an L if they want you to put it on, on a certain side left or right. See how the R right here? Yep, right there. Right side. Yep. So L on the other side. And then on the packaging. Now, again, I didn't have that on the Honda. So, well, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that the saying? I don't know. <laughs> really so, so, I'm going to clean these off -ching, with some uh, brake clean. Get in any, you know, goo, gunk that might be on these uh, from shipping. So, hold while I do that. I'm not moving the camera. I did use that little rag. Use a clean rag. You know, it's way of thinking. They probably put that on the packaging, the, the left and right, uh -huh. because. You know, in the event that something does go wrong, you know, the company themselves. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you know, it's actually a are covering of their own butt. A backup. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like. The shampoo bottle that has instructions on how to use shampoo. Yeah. Like, oh boy. <laughs> Whew. How to use shampoo? Oh boy. All right. All right. So, now I'm going to line up. See how they're kind of loosey goosey right now, and you could put everything back on when it's loose because it, you know the tire and everything holds it all in place, yeah. But to make life easier for, for everyone, we can't let's put these little bad boys back in. That brake clean has found its way into a cut. Oh, yes. And uh -huh. it feels fantastic. Yeah. Not really. It hurts. Yeah. And this is not a how-to video. This is just for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So now what? What do we do next, you two people that are actually watching my videos? Video. What do we do next? Hmm. Well, I'm going to put this hardware on. Now, this is pretty clean, so I'm not going to wire brush it. It's not necessary. Sometimes you have a lot of rust built up in here. And you have to, like, clean it all out so your clips fit in there good. Oh, okay. Probably not in frame. 
and that's okay. If you're working on your car, you probably already know what to do. This one was the tabs. This one back in there. Next weekend is the John Jones fight. Totally watching that. John Jones is one of my favorite UFC fighters. Oh, UFC, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, usually I'm pretty confident that he's going to win this fight, but I think he moved up to heavyweight, and he hasn't fought for such a long time that he might have too much ring rust. May not perform as well as I hope. Oh. But it'll be fun. He's always fun to watch. Where's that taking part opinion. at? Uh, pay per view. Oh, okay. I don't know where the fight is. Huh. Um, I don't know if they're if it's gonna be like in Vegas or or what. But you know, order a pay per view. Go to the uncle in law's house. Hopefully, watch it. Now I put a little grease in here to help the, uh, the pads just glide back and forth, help reduce any kind of sounds. Boom. Oh. Hope this video turns out okay. I have no idea where I'm at in this picture, so. course you just stick everything back together exact opposite of the way it came off now you got to go righty tighty righty tighty <laughs> yeah righty tighty i started out lefty loosey and then i thought i was going the wrong way and went righty tighty and then went back lefty loosey now this time we're for sure going righty -tighty. <laughs> we we got it down now It's still early, John, okay? Yeah. I haven't had a full cup of coffee. That's right. All right, now we're gonna take my caveman tool. I should just find the ratchets so it's much faster. I will never let this work on my car. He's hitting the plastic with yeah, his tool. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Chris, why didn't you use some Loctite on those bolts where you stuck them back in? Well, folks, these have lock washers on them. And the lock washers help this from backing back out when it's tightened all the way down. So therefore, Loctite is not really necessary. Although you can do it if it makes you feel better. Me? Tighten these things down so tight. They don't go anywhere anymore. One more time. <laughs> My knee just popped. Did you hear it? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> this is old man problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The struggle is real. After you hit the 40, struggle man, is real. That's, it's, that's right. It's gone, man. Yep. After you hit 40, it's downhill from there for man. sure. All right, so. It's downhill from there, but our age keeps going the other way. That's right. Yep. There's going to be a point where we're going to see, we have more uh, sunrises in the past than we do in the future. That's right, know? yeah. All right. What is this? Import direct pads? Putting the little squealers in the back. That's where they were. They were in the back. Make sure that when you have greasy hands, you're not touching the material. You're not putting the grease all over the top. Just uh, 
Trust me on that. Hit your brakes and you have a bunch of grease on oh, your... Oh, yeah. Yeah. These new clips are fun. There we go. Nice and flat. Now you could actually assemble this whole unit as one because the, you know, these clips here will hold your pads in place. But I just like to do it this way, one step at a time. Because I'm a simple person, John. Uh, okay. Yep. There we go. Now, also, I've seen some people do this before. Me personally, I've never done it, nor would I. But sometimes these tabs might have like a piece of metal sticking out or it doesn't fit in here properly. And people will grind some of this gear off oh, to I see. it fit. Um, for me, if it doesn't fit, just going right in naturally. Don't force it. That's At least that's my theory. Go get a new, new set. Yeah. You know, it could be something's wrong. Now, also people... They complain that, you know, like if you push this piston back, it pushes the fluid back through the line up into your reservoir, uh -huh. right? Some people, you know, like, oh, you have to open up this valve right here so the fluid goes out there. Yeah, it's not, not necessarily true. You can do it that way, but then, you know, you'd have to, like, bleed your brakes just in case you get air in the system by opening up that valve. But... It's a closed system. Yeah. You're just in, in and out, you know, back and forth. Where did my... I brought it over here. Ah, right there. Oh, you're not using the C-clamp today? No. Oh, no. okay. No, I'm using the proper tool. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's because I found it. You know? it, oh. was, it was in storage. It was in storage. Yeah. Yep, yep. And it pushes back nice. If it, see how smooth it is? Just a little twist, and it's pushing back the piston, just fine. You know, I don't. There's no crumpling of this um, of the rubber boot right here. You know, a lot of a lot of places that have rust build up, you want to you know take a little pick and make sure this boot isn't crumpling up and tearing, because that that'll become an issue later on. But if it pushes back good. That's one way you could tell if your your piston's good your caliper rather it's just fine all right let's put the clips there there now before i go anything more where's that grease i put a little grease right here on the rim a nice little uh rim job <laughs> easy easy keep it pg for the people and then right here just to help you know, with noise and whatnot always done it it's never been an issue wipe my finger off you can do this come on baby You know, I didn't check is to make sure that these pins slide back and forth. Better late than never, and they do. They move good. They spin freely. That means everything is operating as should. All right, look, we are getting it done. Oh, oh, no. It was so much smoother on the other side. Yeah. I'm not on camera. I'm nervous. <laughs> Leave me alone. Don't judge me. All right, there we go. Here. 
And then of course, you know, you'd want to tighten everything down to factory specs, which I'll go and do after the, the camera's off. Because you guys can find your own factory specs, all right? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing in case I'm wrong. I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to steer anyone in the wrong direction, you know? All right. So everything's bolted on. Covers on there. And then, oh, you know, I did forget something, John. Uh-oh. I did forget something. Uh-oh. So, was, you know what I always say? Look. You gotta do it twice. You gotta do it twice. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. But luckily, we paid attention. We caught it before it got too crazy. Does anyone know what I forgot? Can we remember? Hmm. I know there's some Kia people out there. Who are like, yeah, idiot. I know what you forgot. This one. Let's put this back. Mother lover. God, just all sorts of fails today. I told you, it's the camera, John. It's the camera, yeah. Didn't do this on the other side. It I'm always nervous. Is. It always is. I'm nervous. People are watching me from all over. I think all 23 subscribers. Right. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I just talked about them even. Yeah. And these things here can make it a nightmare to put these things back on. Uh, put your. Alright. Ba bam. In there. Okay. Because sometimes you just. <laughs> it pushes them out. And it hard, makes it hard to do one of these numbers. got nothing what are you talking about <laughs> now I don't edit my videos because well I'm an idiot I don't know how to work editing equipment I haven't even really tried to be honest so this will be live like uncut the people will see my mistake other mechanics will but it's up. not a mistake anymore no, no not anymore it was uh yeah my lack of paying attention to detail that's because of the camera yeah exactly I'm going with. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna tighten this down a little bit just to cut down on video time. But now everything's in there. We have the clips. We have the little springs. Calipers back on. Is bolted on. The rotors going the the right way. The right way. Mm -hmm. uh, and everything's good. Now, um, the only thing is, obviously, put your tire back on, tighten your lug nuts to the spec, and before you drive it, push down on the brake pedal, so that way, the calipers compress, and... Uh, You're going to squirt that with a little brake clean, too. Yeah, I'll be squirting out brake clean. Exactly. Um, but that's it. So, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't hit thumbs down. I'm just kidding. You can do whatever. Leave comments, questions, concerns. And um, if you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, didn't even think I'd get 22, 23 people. So that's cool. I have more Jeep stuff coming up later on. And more Corvette stuff too. Uh, thanks for watching.